106 shrines obtained, and 14 to go. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we entered the Heber region. After a lot of shield surfing and a lot of, uh, a lot of detours, we finally tracked down the Heber Tower and lifted the veil from the, on the final act of Breath of the Wild, the Heber Mountains. This episode, we are riding Agro down to the opposite side of the North Tabantha snowfield because it's a fairly straight shot just full of, well, nothing. There is just trees. It's just trees and maybe I'm guessing a Lynel somewhere and Korok seeds coming out of our ears and that's really what I live for. So all of these things are I'm fine with. Although Although I kind of want to see this road now because we haven't been able to connect the dots on where different things end up here. And I'd kind of like to do that. Oh. The dragon's road. What are you, wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Stop running away. Don't run away. Don't. Stop running. Thank you. Hi. My name's Nosby, treasure hunter and extraordinary ex adventurer. I dream of solving the puzzle of Rito Village, west beyond the snowfields. <laughs> then again, my adventure and bucket list is long enough. Hee <laughs> hee. Dauntless, my noble steed. Onward to parts unknown. And that's all he has to say. He's just an adventurer like me. Just wait until he takes an arrow to the knee. Let's okay. Let's find out what the dot, how the dots connect. I doubt it's any anything exciting or particularly attractive to an explorer, but I guess there's also that's a weird road. Do you see that? You see, do you see this? I, we might actually not go across the Tabantha, uh, Tabantha frontier uh, tun tundra. Goodness, words, get out of my mouth. This, because this is, there's a road here, and I do remember uh, when I was looking for Korok seeds, I found, I found this area. I found this area, and I, I was very intrigued because I spotted a Lynel here, and also some giant bones. So I guess we could go this this way. I was figuring we were going to do that after we defeated Ganon, because uh, because then there's there's nothing left except ex exploration. But we actually have a, a introduction, a segue into it, if you will. So why not? Why not? Let's let's go. Let's dip into the Elden region and just see what it offers. I doubt it will be a shrine, but. It's going to be some giant bones, which we do need to find uh, anyway, and then also a Lynel. So, sure, let's let's do this. Now, I, the way I found this was there's a uh, the hero path mode. I I can see everywhere where I have I have been, but by association, I get to see everywhere where I haven't been. For example, there are probably there are probably Koroks in here because I I haven't been there, or uh, what's oh. There's probably, I, I believe I've been told there's a shrine here, which makes sense because I've never even gone near it. That's the closest I've been. So, there, it's it's a great method if you're playing along through the game to find what you don't have by seeing where you have gone. It's very useful. Okay, there's the Lynel. Actually, no, that's not the Lynel. This is a different Lynel. Oh, hello, buddy. Let's Let's fight. Enough talk. Come here. Yeah, what do you think you're doing? Okay, I have stasis. That's cute and all. But, uh, it's, it's actually not that cute. Yeah, I'm just gonna use up the sword. And switch over to this. Yeah, come on. What do you, ha what do you have for me? Come at me, bro. Is that it? That's, that's all you have. We're gonna do the fire. Oh, you're gonna do the fire breath. That's cute and all. That you think that's an option, but it's it's really not an option uh, here. Let's because I'm not using a guardian weapon. I should probably be equipping the barbarian armor. There, that that'll help me shred down this guy much more quickly. The the lancer lynels are not difficult to defeat. They just take a long time because none of their attacks are up front and. 
they they just they kind of play this weird campy play style. So you you have to rely on flurry rushes to actually deal damage to them because every time you get on them they just jump away. Here, watch. He's gonna. Oh no no he's doing this. Oh well we might be able to getting pretty low. Yeah we, we're probably gonna be able to kill him off this. Break the weapon. Uh, let's equip this. Finish him off with sword beams. Whoa! Did you see that? He jumped over my sword beam! That's so cool! Ah, that didn't work. I was hoping to be really flashy and jump out of the way. Oh, you, you think that's cute? Oh, I don't have full health anymore. And... Dead. Dead. Whew, none of his weapons I particularly need, but also he's a new Lionel, so I should probably, you know, fight him. Because usually new Lionels will drop, uh, star fragments. Okay, we got some weapons which I should probably burn through. Otherwise, that wasn't too eventful. But that's not even the Lionel I was thinking of. The Lionel I was thinking of is still halfway down this path next to the the giant monolith, so we're, we're in for a, a treat. Also, I should probably be equipping my Korok mask. Here, let's, let's go up here. I doubt this is where we should go, but also it has some very, very interesting statues that I haven't seen before. It looks like it's the prelude to a, some sort of actual location. They're getting a bit more frequent, too. Is this a... What is this? Oh, oh, this is the the Isle of Dark. Okay, let's let's not go there, particularly because it is scary. It's very frightening, and I don't like it. So, with because of that, I'm going to leave. Also, Agra, you almost killed yourself there, girl. That would not have been good. It's going to be kind of hard after this series is done, because I think for the most part... A lot of my viewers, or I guess every viewer that watches this series is so used to posting in the comments and so used to seeing their comments shown and featured. I, It's going to be pretty hard to move on from this because it's just kind of, it's changed the metagame. I need to go up there eventually. It's kind of, oh wait, another Lionel? There are three Lionels here. Also, I should be marking this one. It's kind of changed the metagame of of my viewers because they're so used to, ooh, my favorite kind of Lionel. They're so used to being able to have input. After the series is done, that input will kind of go by the wayside. Okay, I'm fine with this Lionel. Yeah, that's, you do it. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite Lionel because of this. Oh boy, okay, got it. Dodge the attack. Come on. And. Okay. Sorry if my commentary suffers a bit here. I really need to concentrate against these guys so I can see their tells. Come on. Alright. Let's use the spear to our advantage. Did not see that one coming, but didn't didn't matter. Okay. Do this. Cool. Will the shockwave get me? No, it won't. That that attack is really a hard to dodge, and that's that's one of the reasons why I like this Lionel so much, is you have to be very precise. That didn't work. That was not precise. That was not precise at all. Uh, let's heal up with my fairy tonic. Uh, you are using that attack. I have this. Oh, boy. Get up, get up, Link. Ah, oh, that, that's unfortunate. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Normally, I would be abusing bow spin here, but I'm trying to get some weapons on my inventory as well, so... Oh, no! 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 Why does that happen? I didn't even touch the D-pad! Ah! Horse, get out of here! It might die from this. Well, I died from this. Horse, get out of here! Why does that happen? jump off. Okay, we got the horse out of here. Finally. Get underneath the Lionel. Swing. 
It's going to do that again. And just keep attacking it. Get a really nice upskirt shot. Go under the Lynel. Come on. Oh, different attack, different attack. Okay, give our weapon a chance to charge up. And actually, let's switch it while that happens. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, it's recharged. Come on, get him down. Oh, that didn't work. Come on. He's so low. Okay, take out the bow. Stasis canceling for the win. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's my gripe with the pads right there. Oh, hey, Star Fragment. I, I'll i take. I'm not trying to upgrade all of my amiibo gear, but I do want one full set because it has a unique status ailment. An ailment? A unique statics effect, apparently. Okay, uh, mark that. But, but yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, those are, like, the most skill-intensive Lynels because you have to... You really have to read them. You have to see, based on... A, a eighth of a second of animation whether or not they're going to go for a certain attack or a different attack whether or not you should stand under them or just get your shield ready uh, or whether or not you should run away or shield bash it's just there's so many micro decisions you have to make there I, I just love the enemy okay let's let's go up this and, and get a quark seed while I'm here I'm normally don't like oh I thought that was another line normally I don't like showing quark seeds but I, I found this a long time ago, and I've been wanting to get to this area ever since because it's it's just way out of the way. There's nothing around here. Also, I have a theory that there might be a a shrine somewhere around here too. So all all these lionels, I believe, are guarding a, a shrine. That just makes the most sense. But there's also a korok over here. Uh, we can grab that real quick. Yeah, it's right up there. So let's switch to normal arrows. Switch to a three-shot weapon. Uh, call our horse back. Shoot you. Shoot you. I missed. Uh, there's... Oh, there's one down there. Little baby one peeking his head. Hit that one. Hit that one. None of these are moving. Oh, there's one over there. And that's it. I'm really interested at this point, though, to see what gold line nails have to offer. Those are an enemy only in master mode. And they're... Apparently much, much more difficult than Silver Lynels because they have more HP and they deal even more damage. But I believe they also have a few more attacks as well. And I'm really excited to see that because part of what makes Lynels tough is that they have such a big variety of attacks that you have to really... Okay, apparently aggro can't come. That you really have to adapt on the fly to see what they're going to do. But after a while, they just kind of become old hat. But with uh, with gold lionels, you're gonna have to ha uh, ha have to handle a bigger range of attacks, plus adapt to um, plus deal with the higher amounts of HP and damage. Because a lot of their moves are on near insta kill anyway, even with the highest defense in the game, and and it's gonna be scary when just every attack is an insta kill. Okay, so there's the final lionel. It looks like this area is just kind of a weird series of lionels. Because we've seen one of each kind at this point. We've seen a Crusher, we've seen a Sword, we've seen a Lancer Lionel. And so, they're they're definitely leading up something. And you can see the bones back there. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fight ya. Uh, in fact... Uh, wrong attack. In fact... Come at me, bro. From there. And let's chop him up. Get, up. get this sword out of here. And do I have another sword or am I free to bow spin now? Oh, I'm free to. Oh, I'm free to. I'm free to bow spin. Okay, uh, that this is not that Lionel. Okay, so let's take out this weapon and need to get him stunned. Okay, stasis him, shoot him. Okay, good. I'm I'm really surprised I actually did that, considering how rusty I am. Okay, find the sweet spot. There's the sweet spot. There's the sweet spot, right there, there, double hits. And bow spin again. Get the sweet spot where we get the double hits, and he's dead. Aw, yeah. With our, our Lionel Crusher, that's actually not that good of a weapon anymore. Lionel shields are still the best shields in the game. 
to my knowledge. Uh, I mean, actually, yeah, I think without exception, they're they're way better than Guardian Shields. So let's take all the stuff, drop our bow, which is a five-shot weapon, and continue on without aggro, sadly. But now I know where are there are three more Linels. Did not mean to do that. There are three more Linels here, plus there are these giant Leviathan bones. But what's in them? I don't know. I didn't make it this far. I, I didn't want to spoil myself because there's a very big difference. Elden Great Skeleton. There's a very big difference between exploring for Korok seeds and just exploring new areas without without being on camera. So, what is... That's, that's kind of odd. That's, that's a bit odd. I'm not sure what to think about that. Let's... We haven't done this in a while. But I'm equipping my stealth gear. And I, I want to stealth these guys. I, I want to make sure that they don't get a chance to uh, breathe the air of battle before they die. But I think this is actually the Leviathan that we need to track down. Not the, not the one I thought, which is on the eastern slopes of the mountain. I, I think this is the one. So it's great that we're here, I guess? Uh, how do I want to handle this? Because there, there are two silver enemies there. All right, here's my plan. You ready? I'm really scared. Go. Do this. Come on. Where are they? Are they coming? Are they coming? Okay, I need to take care of the archer first. There. Where, where the, where's the chest? Oh, there's the chest. Okay. Need to kill the archers first. Kill the archers first. Okay. I'm ready. Chest time. Kill them. Okay. Thunderblade's broken, but that did a lot of damage. Do I have any other weapon? Any other electron? No, I don't. Okay. And then... Switch this. And then... Switch to. I I do need a yeah I need a melee I need a uh, crusher weapon and then switch over to uh, this gear. I'm handling this very tactically. Start spin to winning. Spin to win. Whoo! Did it. Barely took any damage, too. We get all the rewards, rubies, amber, elemental weapons, a shield, more stuff from the amiibo itself, mushrooms everywhere. Where, what do I do with all this stuff? I don't even want that. What? That's terrible. Give it, give it back. Okay, and then also the chest, which we we summoned to do to do that happy feet wombo combo, which has a serpentine spear in it. Oh boy, get that out of my life. Okay, there was a reward over here, right? There was like a, a a flame blade, I think, or there was nothing. That's also a possibility. There's absolutely nothing to be gained from that. Not even a korok seed. Oh, there's a Korok seed. Oh boy. That's the best. So I guess we have to climb this thing. We also need a picture of it. We need a picture of it for those scientists. So let, let's climb to the top. See if we can find a good angle on a picture. Also get our Korok seed, which is who knows where. It's not in the nose. This one, this, this guy looks really weird and creepy. Are you seeing this? What is with his mouth? It's it's like deformed. His nose is on the top. It's kind of weird, creepy looking. Okay, let's jump up here. We need a picture of this guy. Leviathan volcano. There it is. Done. That's that's one of three, and we already know where one of the others is, and but we don't know where the Korok is. And that's it, I think, for this Leviathan, which. I still am not sure what it's supposed to be because it looks very odd and slightly grotesque. 
But I think this is also the end, not the, not the end of the episode, but the end of this path. I think that it's now exhausted. Well, neat. I'm glad we were able to do that because otherwise I don't know when we were going to be going to do that next. Like towards the end of the LP and then it just leads into this quest. So I'm glad we did it. And I even... What dragon? Oh, it's... That's where, this is where Denral comes. Okay, well, hi Denral. Are you happy to see your dead brethren, I guess? Alright, uh, let's... If we have any time left in the episode, I'm gonna spend it at, back at the Tabantha uh, Tundra. So, I'll be right back. I am sorry about that detour, but it's something that's been on my laundry list of things to do for a long time. And I finally found an opportunity where it could just slot into the episode without any any real detour. Like, it's not like I was... We were exploring Gerudo, and I said, Oh, well, let's go to this random area. We actually found a road that led to it. So, I think it's it's fair. It just... I, I do regret... <laughs> I regret when an episode's supposed to be in the snow area. And I'm like, let's go to the lava area. So, it it is regrettable, but I am... I don't really regret... Yeah. It, kind of? So, yeah. Uh, well, we're going across the Tabantha Tundra. Hopefully making it to the other side. This area is very expansive. There's, There are interesting things everywhere. And Korok seeds aplenty. And shrines aplenty. But I, I can actually see a shrine from here. Which I should probably get. So we're, we're heading that way. Uh, doing things along the way. Because I like to extend this let's play as much as possible. In case it wasn't obvious, I, <laughs> I'm i trying to make this, this LP last longer. What's in here? Is there anything in here? Nothing? Everything? Enemies? No? There's a chest. Which has a... A rupee? A kite shield. Rito warriors cherish this shield. It, its unique shape is designed for mid-battle flight in mind to facilitate aerial combat. Huh. Now, does that mean that it does something? Like, does it make us fly faster? That would be cool. Uh, huh. Here, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna use Revali's Gale and just, just see what it does. I mean, okay, we're... That doesn't do anything. No. Huh. I have no clue what that is. What that's supposed to do. Okay, well, we got a kite shield. Awesome, and it looks just like our sailcloth. And you, sir, hit my horse, and you hit my horse again. Uh, for that, you will die. Yeah, you, or I guess, take some arrows in places where no one should have arrows. Okay, I'm fully expecting there to be a Lionel on this, this tundra. So I'm just kind of zigzagging just to see both sides if possible, so we don't have to make a big circuit. There's some trees over there. There's also a mountain. We know where that ends up. There's a maze over there. And I think, actually, I think we might save the maze until the very end. That that sounds like a great final shrine in the game to me. It, it I mean, ending it off on a, a trial, as it were, it just sounds like a cool idea. Did I? Okay, I didn't kill you. Okay, so we're headed that way eventually, but I do want to see what's over here. Actually, no, that's I guess that's our way out. So let's let's go towards this shrine. Let's end off the episode with a, a shrine in the area that we were supposed to be exploring, which is the Tabantha and Hebra Mountain area. This is at the very opposite end. We're as far north as we can possibly go. And there's this little little shrine. The Shagema Shrine in this strange crater. Huh. Well, I wonder what's inside this. Shift and lock. Shagema Shrine. Shift and lock, huh? That sounds like what they expect us to do is raise this up with magnesis. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We're supposed to actually be shifting. Oh, I can't. Camera. 
I can't exactly see while that's while you're doing that to me. So please, please don't angle the camera like that again. Say, so, so we just walk this thing up. Oh, I see. So we need to bring this up to the top, and then use these to carry it, which kind of puts it on a delay. And we grab this chest before we're crushed. Small key. Oh boy. Backflip out of the way! Yeah, that works, I guess. Now, my other question is, can we get on those platforms? Because those plat- actually, wait. A, can we get on the platforms? B, can we get that chest from up here? I think the answer to both might be yes, because if we- If we go down a little- little ways. Raise this up. Uh, no, that's kind of sketchy. I don't think we can actually get on the platforms, but we can do this. We could, we could also just stasis this, like here. Do that, and then stasis the thing. But it's it's not really needed anymore, and I, of course I missed that. Whoa, look at that bounce. To the chest, chest contains something cool, something awesome. A royal broadsword, so neither of those. Just a weapon that I will probably be throwing away within minutes. And there's nothing over this way. Looks like the shrine is done. We're just knocking these things out like clockwork. If you catch my drift. Get it? Because it's snow. I think that's going to be it for this episode. We got one shrine. We explored this area with a bunch of Lynels. We had quite a few battles. And we took a picture of one of the Great Leviathan. And the other one is here. And the final one, apparently, is somewhere around here. In fact, we might be able to scout it out right now based on the names. Uh, maybe? Or maybe not. Oh, that looks, that looks interesting. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's something you'd like to see me go do, or someplace you'd like me to see... That was kind of weird. Please type it in the comments so I can go do it. Chances are you'll even get a shout-out in addition. And, yeah, I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time when we continue to explore the Tapantha... Tundra, I can't think of the name of that. Ooh, also, there's a Lionel, so I'll go fight him. See you guys later.